What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, Capture, Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so very much. I do, I do, I do. Who? Okay, so um, I received another channeling. Um, so I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do, who? Okay, so um, the channeling I received was um, a very um, jealous, low vibrational. Now, of course, if you were not this person, you know, you're not this person. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest, okay? You're not this person. You're not this person. I heard a very jealous, low vibrational um, Sagittarius femme. I heard that is um, trying to secretly steal your destiny. I heard through many series of chain of events, it is about to seriously backfire on her in a huge way. I heard you're about to rise in a huge way. I heard you're very strong, um, you're very determined, and you're very smart, and all those things are about to pay off for you in a huge way. And I heard you're very knowledgeable, too. Very strong, independent, um, I'm sorry, strong, intelligent, strong, smart. Forget the other one. And I heard loyal too, and you're loyal. And all those things are about to pay off for you in a huge way. So, um, but it's some kind of low vibrational, jealous Sagittarius fem. Um, now, like I said, if you're a Sag fem and you're not low vibrational and you don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, values, and you're not jealous and you're not in your shadow side and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you are high vibrational and you've done your shadow work and you're not jelly and you're jammies, it's not for you, okay? Whoever this person is, but it's a low vibrational Sag femme. She has not done her shadow work, her healing work, or her growth, and she's jealous of you, whoever you are. Okay, I didn't hear a sign on you, but but you're about to rise. You have many wonderful qualities, uh, apparently, from the channeling, and you're about to rise in a huge positive way. And I heard knowledgeable in there, too. So your knowledgeable is significant in this as well, and strong and dependable and loyal and there was a plethora of others you can back a check okay you were a femme energy fire sign you were a femme energy fire sign you're a femme energy fire sign femme fire sign fire signs unite i'm a leo sign um so you are a um aries leo sag femme you're aries leo sag femme just saying just saying about to rise like the phoenix baby just saying, just saying, you could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in hand with Jupiter charts, but you, you are a high vibrational fire sign, high vibrational Aries, Leo, Sag, Fem. There's a very jealous, and they're jammies, Sag, Fem, um, jealous of you. For one, it's a stepmother. For one, it's your karmic mother. For one, it's a karmic aunt. Oh, okay, so for... Okay, so these low vibrational jelly and their Jamie side fans. Uh, for one, it's your karmic mother, so she doesn't have good intentions for you or the situation. Karmic mother, for one, it's a stepmother. It could be your stepmother or somebody you're connected to, stepmother. And for one, it's your karmic aunt. So your aunt, and she is karmic to you. She doesn't mean well for you. So you plug it in how it resonates. High vibrational um, fire sign fan. For one, it's an ex boss. And for one, it's an ex-boss. And for one, it's an ex-boss. A lot of Sag fins in here. Whether it's your karmic mother, a karmic aunt, a karm, um, a stepmother, whether it's your stepmother, somebody your stage two stepmother, or a um, ex-boss. All Sag fin energies, jealous in their jammies of you. But you're about to rise like the phoenix, fire sign fin. I love it. I love it. I love it. Spirit messages you have signed uh, for this collective. I don't like karmic family members because family members are really truly supposed to support one another. Um, and that's just the truth. Family members are supposed to support one another and love one another and um, be there for one another, not be karmics to each other. I just want to point that out with whoever you are, high vibrational fire sign fam. You've got a lot of karmic family members. Apparently an aunt, specifically an aunt and a mother. I'll tell you that right now. And a karmic ex-boss and a, um, who was the other one? Um, who the other one was? 
but um but family members in there strong family members that's that's and the stepmother stepmother gavel involvement with the law chain chain of events that will affect your life i heard pull another one spirit message you have to collect it This is about to give an Aquarius a huge wake-up call. Huge. One Aquarius, a positive wake-up call. One Aquarius, a negative wake-up call. Okay, I heard this is about to give an Aquarius a huge wake-up call. Um, one Aquarius, a positive wake-up call. And one Aquarius, a negative wake-up call. So, heavy Aquarius energy in here. Um, whoever you are, Aquarius, related to this high vibrational fire sign fem. Um, whether you're going to get a positive wake-up call about this or a negative wake-up call. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. Aquarius. I feel like you can be masculine if you have Aquarius and have Aquarius in any aspects of your chart, okay? Spirit message you have to, uh, for the collective. Things are about to start going very fast, just the way you like them. And it will be okay. You are good at your job. Okay, uh, uh, okay, so um, uh, I heard things are about to start going very fast, just the way you like them, and um, it will be okay, because you're good at your job. So, whoever you are, you're good at your job, and I feel you or experience in your profession, uh, whoever you are, fire sign fem, you're good at your job and it's going to be okay. So maybe people made you think it wasn't going to be okay, but it is going to be okay, ma'am. And um, you're apparently experienced in your job in some shape, form, or fashion, um, whatever that is and how that applies. And it's about to start going fast the way you like it. So some kind of fast energy, but it sounds like positive for you. You like fast. Um, now, whatever profession you do, okay? Okay, so gavel involvement with the law, chain, chain of events that will affect your life, grief, sorrow over a loss, face, secret admirer. But I will say before we get into the cards, the tea leaves, you have a lot. Of, for some, I feel it could be one of these low vibrational side fins karmic to you. Because all these people are karmic to you. They're all karmic to you. They're jealous of you. They don't want you to succeed and do well. And that's just the truth. Um... I'm, I'm just being, I'm just telling you how it is. And that's just the truth. But for one of you guys, it could be one. For one, for one, it could be two. For some, it could be two or two plus. You have to plug these people in, how they resonate. Only um, you would know your situation and story and how these people plug into your life. They do. But a lot of jealous, jammy, karmic energies. Whether it's a stepmother, your stepmother, somebody you're connected to, stepmother, your, kar your karmic mother, your karmic aunt, or a karmic ex-boss. All such fence. Another Sag Femme is getting a very positive wake-up call. Very positive. And will continue to. Another Sag Femme is getting a very positive wake-up call and will continue to. So we've got Aquarius is getting wake-up calls, huge wake-up calls, one positive, one negative, and a Sag, another Sag Femme, but not the karmic people down here. Jealous in their jammies, um, people, um, another person. High vibrational side fem. She treats people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. She's getting a very positive wake up call, and I heard she will continue to. So, whoever you are, ma'am, if you've been in this situation, how that resonates, that's really beautiful. We have a lot of people in here two Aquariuses, masculine fem, sag fem, high vibrational, you, high vibrational fire sign fem, and all these karmic energies down here. So, you plug it in how it resonates. But it's something to do with your profession and your career, and it's about to start speeding up in a very positive way. And I heard it's going to be okay. You're very experienced and knowledgeable, and you have lots of wonderful qualities. I think somebody was trying to make it out like you didn't, is what I'm feeling uh, in the past. Um, but um, energy has shifted, and the way I look at it is it doesn't matter what other people say about you. What matters is what you prove to other people. If anybody needs to hear that, it doesn't matter what people say behind your back. What matters is what you prove in the everyday world to other people. Because there's reasons people lie behind your back. 
because they don't want to say it to your face because they want to basically strategically block you. But if you prove to people face to face the reality and the truth of things, you're proving it, proving it to it into their face, is what I'm saying. So just it doesn't matter what people say behind your back, what matters is what you give to them in the universe energetically. If that helps somebody out there, okay? Gavel involvement with the law. Y'all, hold on one second. My cat's trying to get up. Hold on one second, okay? Come on, baby. Okay. I'm so sorry. Gavel involvement with the law. There's about to be heavy law enforcement energy here. Heavy law enforcement. For people that spited you in the past, they're about to have to deal with the law and they're not going to want to have to do this. Other people that are about to be around you are about to get a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. And it's about to create a series of tame events for these people that lied on you so badly in the past. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So, huge involvement with the law here. Um, sounds like people in your past that spited you and lied on you, they're about to get heavy involvement with the law. Um, now, I don't know if this is local law enforcement, feds, or... Um, investigative energy or what have you, what have you, but some kind of law energy, law enforcement energy. Um, some of these people, it's legal. Some of these people, it's legal. So some is law enforcement and some is legal. So some of the people in your past that lied and spited you and um, I feel tried to block you. Um, they heavily blocked you in the past, heavily. Okay, it's confirmation. They heavily blocked you in the past heavily. So they heavily blocked you in the past. But some are about to deal with actually law enforcement, I'm feeling. Like police officers or feds or private investigators or what have you, what have you. Some are about to deal with legal issues. So involvement of the law is actually like court of law, legal issues. Um, I heard you're about to be around some people soon, fire sign fem. And it's about to give them wake up, huge wake up calls about you, high vibrational fire sign fem. And it's about to create the series of chain events for the people of your past to either get law, uh, legal action against them or po um, feds or police, some kind of law enforcement, whether that's fed level, local police level, or what have you, what have you, or investigator, how that resonates in the clocks. Um, but it's because you're about to be around people in your 3D space that's about to give the people around you wake-up calls about the people of your past, if that makes sense. Um, and it's going to create a series of chain of events for them, the people of your past, whether it's legal issues in the form of court, court of law or um, um, uh, police or feds. Because I've been pulling in fed energy in here too, so it might be feds. I didn't hear feds, but it might be. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Huge important happenings happening for you this week and people of your past this week. Huge important happenings happening this week for you, have a racial fire sign fam, and for people of your past. I feel with the form of legal issues and um, police or feds or what have you, what have you. And um, the law enforcement will not be manipulated. Someone needs to hear this. The ones having to deal with law enforcement. 
Oh my God. I heard the ones having to deal with law enforcement, they will not be manipulated. Somebody needs to hear that. Um, so some of these people are going to, this is them, people your past having to deal with actual legal issues. So legal issues, not police or feds or investigators or what have you, what have you. But some of the people your past are going to have to deal with actual police um, or federal level, I'm presuming, or investigators or something like that, like I think in person. Um, and I heard the law enforcement will not be manipulated. So, and somebody needed to hear that. The ones have to deal with face-to-face -face people your past, maybe. Um, but it's huge events upcoming this week. So we're Monday, 11-21 in 2022. This week for you. Um, I think in a positive way, hopefully in a positive way for you. In a negative way for the people of your past. Because they have lied and spited you and did all kinds of crazy negative things to you. So a series of chain of events about to be created for you this week. And you're about to be around a lot of new energies that's about to give these new energies wake-up calls about you and some kind of situation in the past. And series of chain of events for people of your past. Grief, sorrow, or loss. Shocking information is going to come to light this week from a child. It's about to create series of chain of events, huge series of chain of events. There will end up being a custody change over this. Okay, I heard a sh shocking information from a child is about to come to light this week, and it's going to create series of chain of events. Um, and I heard... Uh, the, the information from a child's mouth, it sounds like, that's about to come out of a child's mouth, uh, I'm assuming a minor, 17 or below, is about to create a series of chain events, and I heard it will cause a shocking ch custody change. So involvement with the law, I think this is like um, police or child protective services or both, about to get involved to with the shocking custody change because of something that's about to come out of a child's mouth. Um, to a mandatory reporter. To a mandatory reporter. To a mandatory reporter. So it's about to come out this week out of a child's mouth, a minor's mouth, 17 or below, to a mandatory reporter. And it's going to create a shocking series of chain of events. And it's going to create a surprise custody change. Uh, I feel CPS, Child Protective Services, and police involvement. And I think that's where this is coming in for whoever that's for. Um, now, I feel whatever side of karma you're on there in a positive or negative sense there. Okay? Um, I've been pulling in some rape of children recently, and I hate that, but I have been. So I feel for some, it could be the nightmares of the poor children about to have nightmares about rape that their predator predatory energies have been strategically trying to cover up, unfortunately. And I hate that, but I do feel that for some. For some, it may not be. It just may be some other middle. It may be molestation. It may be um, uh, abuse. It may be something else terrible. Um, but some kind of shocking in middle about to come out of a minor's mouth to a mandatory reporter that's going to create shocking series of chain events and a surprise custody change. I feel this is child protective services and um, social worker energy and um, police. That's what I feel. And a gang member is about to be apprehended through many series of chain events for gang rape. Oh my God. And a gang member is about to be apprehended through many series of chain events for gang rape. Some kind of gang member? My God. So a gang member is about to be apprehended through many series of chain events for gang rape. So that could be this. A gang member about to be apprehended through many series of chain events for gang rape. Um, whether that's of an adult or a child. You plug it in, that's terrible. So, sorrow of a loss, I think, is the shocking custody change um, that someone didn't expect to happen, but it sounds like it's because a minor is about to speak something um, pretty terrible to a mandatory reporter, and it's about to create series of chain events. Sounds like the mandatory reporter is actually going to do their job. They are definitely going to do their job. About to get a huge wake-up call.
Okay, I heard they're definitely going to do their job. They're going to get a huge wake-up call. So the mandatory reporter, not in here what kind of mandatory reporter was, whether it's a police officer, uh, a nurse, uh, uh, a police officer, a nurse, or a um, counselor, or an educator, or a teacher, or whoever is mandatory reporter energy in the universe, um, uh, therapist, what have you, what have you, um, whoever it is. I didn't hear specifically who the mandatory reporter is. Base, Secret Admirer. I feel guided to do this one one more time. And there will be a death you will hear about. Someone does not want you to hear about this week. For one, it's an ex-co-worker. For one, it is a family member. For one, it's someone you grew up with in the past. Okay, and there's going to be a shocking death this week for whoever that's for. Um, that's a series of chain of events too. Some kind of shocking death, whether it's somebody you grew up with in the past. Um, it sounds like childhood or a family member or a uh, ex-co-worker. So, Funeral energy here with the wreath and the floor arrangement. Um, I'm feeling, I feel for some you might go to the funeral. For some you may just send your condolences, however you choose to handle that. But I heard you will hear about it. Somebody doesn't want you to hear about it, but you will hear about it. So um, that's good, whether you choose to go to the funeral or not. So sorrow of loss in this aspect is, that's helicopters from the base right here. Just let everybody know. So confirmation with the helicopters. Those are army helicopters. Maybe one of you guys is a veteran. You were in the armed forces, possibly. Or maybe one of these people was in the armed forces. Maybe they were in the army. Because that's army helicopters. You plug it in how it resonates. Uh, funeral energy. Whether it's um, an ex-co-worker. An ex... Um, someone you went to school with. Um, grew up with in the past. I feel childhood years. Like Six of Cups. Or uh, someone in your family. I heard that somebody doesn't want you to know about the death, but you will you will find out. Base Secret Admirer. And one of these low vibrational Sagittarius, the nightmares of the general is going to get worse, and that's going to benefit you in a huge way. One will break this week. It's about to get so bad for them. They have stolen a huge amount of money from you. Oh, my God. Okay, so these karmic low vibrational side fans, one of them has stolen a huge amount of money from you. I heard the some kind of nightmares from a general energy. So dreamscape energy. They're having nightmares about a general. And I was pulling that in in side reading like two or three weeks ago or something. Some side spam has stolen a lot of money, and they're basically we're going to start getting nightmares of Somebody that either called themselves the general or the Sag called them the general. Somehow they call, it's a veteran. It's a deceased masculine veteran. But his nickname, I'm presuming, is the general. Um, I heard the nightmares of the general is going to get worse. And I heard they're not going to quit. They're not going to quit. So it sounds like this Sag Femme, one of these karmics to you, ma'am, fire sign Femme, is already receiving nightmares of the general. Um, I heard they're going to continue and they're going to get a lot worse. And I heard one of these people, the one that sold a large amount of money from you, maybe for some of you guys, two or two plus stole a large amount of money from you. But you plug in how it resonates. But one of them I heard is going to break this week uh, because the nightmares are not going to quit about the general. So uh, maybe the general admires you in the dreamscape, ma'am. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I feel for some the general might be your ancestor. I feel for some, the general might be your ancestor. And I'm just being for real. Definitely ancestor fighting for you. In the spiritual realm. Okay, it's confirmation. Okay, so for, for how, how about Russell Fires on Finn? One of these people's getting haunted in their dreamscape by a general, if you didn't know this. The general. He's a retired, not a retired, he's a deceased masculine veteran. But he's called the general to somebody. Either he calls himself the general or the side Finn calls him the general or somebody calls him the general. But... Or he really was a general. How that resonates. But um, 
he is haunting her in her dreamscape. It sounds like already now. I did that reading like three weeks ago or something, but it sounds like he's already ha he's haunting her. He is your ancestor. So he's your ancestor in the spiritual realm, and that's why he's haunting her dreamscape. I heard she will break this week. So series of chain events this week, she will break. I think mentally break. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear she's going to mentally, mentally break, but she's going to break in some shape, form, or fashion. I wonder if it's a middle break. Um, she will not be able to handle it. She will not. She is going to come forward in an unexpected way, a huge unexpected way. Okay, I heard she's not going to be able to handle it. So these dreams are just going to get worse, and it sounds like a mental break. She's going to come forward in some kind of unexpected way. I don't know if it's going to self middle to a mental institution or coming forward to the police or what it is. But it sounds like some kind of mental break because the nightmares are going to get scared. I heard they're not going to quit. They're going to get worse. So it sounds like some kind of mental break is about to happen. Um, for one of them, it will lead to a mental health hospitalization. It's going to get so bad. Okay, I heard for... Okay, so the, it sounds like there's two of them. One of them is going to lead to a mental health hospitalization. It's going to be so bad. So one's going to break and come forward in some kind of shocking, unexpected way. And one is going to lead to a mental health hospitalization. They're about to get so bad. Whether it's the stepmom, the karmic aunt, the karmic mother, or the uh, former ex-boss. Um, how that resonates to you, how vibrational fire sign feel, okay? But general energy, deceased, masculine, veteran, that is your ancestor energy. Very strong in here, ma'am. Um, it's happening to at least two of these, I'm feeling. One of them, they're going to come forward in an unexpected way. Um, a way they would have never expected. Uh, I guess about the stolen money or about the nightmares or something and the other one is going to lead to a mental health hospitalization so you plug it in how it resonates hopefully they get asked get arrested for stolen money just saying just saying because they wouldn't appreciate it if, they, if you stole money from them they secret admirer Someone has been watching your readings for a, a while. They're about to start seeing a huge change in you, a huge positive change. And they're about to get a positive wake-up call here. Okay, somebody's been watching your readings for a while, and I heard um, they've been watching your readings for a while, and basically um, they're about to start seeing a positive change in you. Ma'am, fire sign femme. So they're about to, Aries Leo Sag, high vibrational fire sign femme. This is about to start going fast for you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, they've been watching your readings. So I think your reader, your reader, ma'am, your reader, your tarot reader. Um, and they've been watching your readings for a while. But they're about to start seeing a very positive change in you. And it's going to make them happy. So in this aspect, I think this is somebody that watches your readings. Um, I think you do an online public platform. I absolutely think you do. Yes. 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 Confirmation. Yes. You do an online public platform. Um, and you've got a uh, masculine energy secretly admiring you, ma'am. And he's about to see a very positive change in you. And it's um, it's going to make him happy when he sees the positive change in you. So masculine secret admirer energy that views your tarot readings online, ma'am. It's going to create such a positive wake-up call in him, such a positive wake-up call, he might end up doing something he never thought he would do in a very positive way towards you. Okay, so you, okay, so he's about to see very positive changes in you. So his intuition is about to be on fleek, on point, and see the positive changes in you, ma'am. It doesn't sound like it's happened yet, but it sounds like it's upcoming. It could be aesthetic, it could be personality, it could be both, it could be, I mean, whatever it is. Just but more bubblier, more happier. I'm not sure, but 
He's about to see something positive transform in you, whether it's ha happiness, aesthetic, or both, or combination, or what have you, what have you, or something that's going to happen externally in your life, uh, maybe a change, uh, external change or something, but it's going to make him happy, um, happy for you, your secret admirer that views you online, uh, your tarot readings, but I heard it's going to, might make him do something that he never thought he would do, very positive towards you, so I didn't hear it was going to happen, I heard it might. So he would only know if he's going to do it or not, but um, he might create series of chain of events positively or do something he thought he would never do towards you in a positive way. So positive series of chain of events towards you. Online pl public platform reader, fire sign fifth. Um, because he's about to start seeing the positive changes in you or around you or to your situation or something, ma'am. Um, he is a secret admirer on your online public platform. It is about to create such a huge wake-up call in him. Such a huge wake-up call. It's about to create... Doing what you love. Okay, I heard it's about to create such a huge wake-up call in him. Such a huge wake-up call. Doing what you love. So I think you do what you love, ma'am. Or you're about to start doing what you love. Or you're about to... Or a combination of what you love. Because, you know, you can love many things. Um, I love many things, and that's just the truth. Um, you can love one thing, two or two plus things, but are doing what you love. So I think the positive changes are about to come because you're doing what you love, or you're about to start doing what you love, or doing a combination of what you love. And it's about to create a huge ass wake up call in him, your secret admirer, public platform, masculine energy. Um, about to be done the right way this time. About to be done the right way this time. So it's uh, doing what you love the right way this time, ma'am. You're about to do the, what you love the right way this time. How that resonates in a box. That's really be beautiful. Beautimous. The wheel is about to start turning very fast. For many, many, many people involved in this situation, many people, the wheel is about to start turning very fast. For many people involved in this situation, many, many, many people. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. So the wheel is about to start turning very fast for many people in this situation, some in a positive way, some in a negative way. So only you know which side of the karmic wheel you're on in a positive aspect or a negative aspect. Um, the wheel is about to start turning very positive, either in a positive way or negative way. I love you guys so much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I hope you're self-namaste.